Hello and welcome back. This is the Clay Golem. This is Foundry VTT version 12 and this is Curse of Strahd. Um, little update video really just because um, we, we haven't done many videos recently. We've slowed up a bit uh, for a few reasons. One, the fourth, e, um, the D&D 4.0 is out and we're doing a little bit of playing with that. Um, and I've been doing lots of stuff in the background with some of the members of setting up some items and stuff specifically for them. And also I've been doing some fiddling around in the background for my Curse of Strahd module. So this video really is just a bit of an update of what we're doing and why I'm doing it. Um, so this is the Death House, which originally we built using all levels, uh, rippers, levels, etc., um, but following some experiments when we were looking at um, Van Richten's tower, uh, I have changed the way that I'm doing these maps for a couple of reasons. Um, so this is the uh, the ground floor, first floor, second floor and the attic. Uh, so I've rebuilt this just by pairing these images. So I've got one scene where I've got all floors on there, divided it by walls just so that they can't accidentally see the other parts. Uh, and put in our various regions in here for stairs and things. So the players can move around um, on any of these floor, four levels without me really needing to worry too much about it. I just need to keep an eye on where they're going and then, of course, pause the game if they go into a new room, etc. Um, and my players have actually been through all of this now and they're now in into the dungeons. Yeah, it took them a while. <laughs> To get to work their way through um, and they walked around with the they walked around the house for quite a while looking for a key not realizing that one of them had the key which was quite amusing uh, and it's really difficult not to tell them for Christ's sake just look in your backpack you've got the key um, <laughs> how long do you leave it right <laughs> um, so the a couple of reasons I've done this uh, even though they finished in this one of the main reasons is because I intend to package this uh, adventure map series, Aeon Bar's maps, but all walled up, ready to go. Package that up for future use and to share with you guys. Simplification of the of the system is going to be really important to make sure it actually works. So if we can remove some of the mods, the better. So doing this, I can remove levels from actually having this in there. Levels is brilliant, I love it, it works really well, um, but it's another complication, another version potential problem um, if we package this up. So just trying to simplify it and keep it as the, the building stuff as base foundry as possible, hence using regions for the stairs rather than um, monks active tile triggers, although I obviously still have plenty of those throughout. Um, but there will be bits that when I go to package this up, I can strip out modules wise and leave you actually with a working adventure that then you can use your modules in on top of if you want to, such as automation, etc. So that's one reason for doing it. Now, there is concern, of course, is taking Aeonbar's beautiful maps, which are quite high res. I mean, you know, we zoom all the way in, you know, they're, they're, they have a nice high resolution. Um, putting all four of them on one map like this, how big is this scene? Um, so this scene is, yeah, it's, it's not too big. The whole scene is only uh, 2,400 by, well, uh, 4,400. Uh, so it's not a huge scene, but we've got quite a lot of detailed maps on there. But when you combine that with Ripper's Media Optimizer, which does a really good job of shrinking down the file size, um, even when I've put images like this together, then actually this makes it makes this way of doing it really viable. Uh, and we, as I said, we practiced that or we tried that with the Van Richten Tower. Again, there was four levels in total, same as the house here. So that's what I'm doing. Um, and of course, I'm effectively having to rebuild this from scratch, putting all of the walls again, putting all the, the doors, putting all the lights back in and all of that stuff ready to go. So that's taken a fair bit of time. I've been doing that in the background. Um, you don't want to watch me rebuild stuff I've already done, I'm sure. Um, so, uh, so I kind of skipped that. 
Um, and of course I've done the same with the basement now as well and just put these two maps on the same thing and again with those teleports it does make it much easier in in many ways to be able to just um, go right all of this lots the same so I can set the same lighting I can have the same background music if I want to or sound effects whatever it might be and you're only jumping from you know one area of the map to the other with your regions so it does make it nice and smooth from that point of view you can see my uh, my party's up well at least four of them are up here at the moment uh, they have put the Durst children to rest in their coffins and are just exploring here um, I did have some issues with uh, a couple of things not working in our session last night which was a bit of a worry <laughs> <laughs> because I had been playing and I broke the cardinal rule of I played with something in my live game world instead of in my testing world. It literally was one tick in a box in the MIDI settings and suddenly it really stuffed up all combat. But they hadn't quite got to the combat yet for this, so uh, that we got away with it. Uh, yeah, so this is what I've been doing. Uh, I've been doing that with all of this. I've also done it with the... Uh, the escape from death house now i could have absolutely just reused the same map but i wanted the different lighting um i've changed some of my animations for the smokers to make them a bit more neutral a bit easier to use um, and less impactful when i switch this over to you i don't know why i've got uh, oh so that's me testing don't want don't need those two in here do i get get out <laughs> don't want to be over there um, and I've literally been doing that in the background. Um, Blood of the Vine, I had to do this one as well. So again, this is split north and south, but you've got your ground floor, all its lighting and everything else, and then we've got the upper floor here. And of course, yes, we've got the regions again, just to be able to go up and down those stairs from here to here. Now, a little tip for you, um, if you're using regions like this to do stairs, uh, obviously I've got stairs up and stairs down and this one at the bottom is called down to ground even though it is on the ground floor and the one upstairs is called up to first floor and that doesn't seem to make sense that's not intuitive but let me show you why let me grab a member of the party oh when you will do because i've got the confirm move item on when come here when, uh, when this character tries to go upstairs, it comes up and says, do you want to teleport, Olwen, up uh, to, and then it gives the name of the tile, sorry, the name of the region it's going to. So by calling that region upstairs, up to first floor, this sentence makes sense. Do you want to teleport, Olwen, up to the first floor in Blood of the Vine? Yes, I do. Um, and... Can we light your torch, please, dear? Oops, wrong button. Light that. Thank you very much. There we go. We've got some lights. <laughs> That's better. Um, and then when I want to go down, it will say, do I want to teleport Olwyn down to ground? Yes, I do. There we go. So just by naming those regions nicely, that makes quite a big difference to um, the experience of the players. So as you can tell, this has taken quite a while to do this. Um, that the death house is all done um burgomaster's mansion i can't remember if i finished this i think i did finish this as well and again it's just a the ground floor and the first floor split over two i haven't done the church yet which i need to do as well this is still a levels based map and again it works beautifully there's nothing wrong with it at all it's purely from a, if I'm going to package it point of view, I'm going to have to remove these. So if I look at our modules, I've got 46 modules on. Um, there's no way I'm packaging this with that many modules. I don't need stat block importer or active auras, token effects, the HUD, um, auto rotate, the animations. Um, that will stay as a prerequisite because no, no, that can go as well. Don't need Builder Bonus, the Carousel Combat Tracker. Um, we don't need my automated items or the Traps Package. That's fine. Um, we don't need Chris's P-Made, Combat Booster. You see, so many of these I will be able to take off when I package it. In fact, actually, what would I need to keep for you guys to be able to use this? Um, the JB2A free version. 
will be on there. Um, I'm removing levels, so we won't need to include that. Um, we won't need Media Optimizer, Monk's Active Tile Triggers, um, Monk's Token Bar probably because of some of the automated trap platform stuff. But that's pretty much it. So that's that's the huge difference it's going to make to being able to package this. And the simple, more simple the package is, the more likely it's going to work without compatibility issues, especially as different versions of the D and D engine, etc., come out. So just kind of pairing that back in preparation. Now I've got an awful lot more building to do before this is a completed adventure. That's for sure. Um, I'm still on Act 2, The Shadow Town, as you guys know, because if you've been following along, um, there's an awful lot more to do. Uh, but we just haven't got there yet. So, uh, just to bring you up to speed, that's what I've been doing in the background. I haven't forgotten about you. I am busy doing bits and bobs, um, but I didn't see the point in recording the repetition of what I was doing. I might, in the beginning of the next one, um, I might just show you uh, how I'm stitching these maps together in case you kind of go, I like that idea. Uh, again, especially combined with Media Optimizer, it, it, it makes sense. It just makes sense. It works. So uh, why would I not do that? Um, just because less can go wrong. Okay. Uh, and that's obviously quite important. All right. So that's all I really want to cover in this video. Just a short one. It's just to bring you up to date. Let you know I'm still alive. I haven't disappeared. Um, and everything is cool. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Where maybe we'll actually do something. Right. Cool. Bye.